everyone. It's uh, Nick Walsh here from uh, Two Flicks Up again. Uh, we're going to go off the guns a little bit today. We're going to do a a little bit of a presentation on case annealing. It's oh, it's, it's something that's argued in the debates of the merits of it. It's been going around for years. I, I remember my father trying it when when I was a kid, and it didn't go really well. But people know how to do it now, and you can you can buy annealing machines and that for thousands and thousands of dollars. But we're going to do this. On the cheap, real easy way, just for your, your average, your, your average everyday hand loader hunter. All right, so a couple of, couple of uh, cases we're going to do today. Today we're doing two to three cases. You will need your little bright, your little blowtorch, your little trade tool special, little hot devil special, cigarette lighter to fire that up, bucket of water, and your little drill with your extension. And I believe it's a 10 mil bit, a 10 mil sorry drive on the end of that. 10 mil socket rather. And uh, what we want to do, we don't want to burn the whole case. You do that, throw the case away. We want to do it from just below the shoulder, just below the shoulder, up. I hope you can get that in focus. From about there, up. Okay? We don't want to set it, put too much heat in it, otherwise we wreck the case, we wreck it, just you throw it away. Okay? Now, annealing, annealing uh, brass, every time, every time brass fires, a lot of stress on the, on the shoulder and neck of the bullet, of, of the uh, cartridge rather. Um, it, it heats really quickly, expands, contracts, and brass being as soft as it is, that can make it go brittle. And if it's too brittle, it gets overstretched when you work it through your dies, it gets, keeps getting done. Two things happen, the neck of your cartridge will crack, and you will, prior to that, you'll start to lose neck tension, which you lose muzzle velocity and cartridge efficiency, etc., etc. Case annealing. You do it. You do it right. Um, you can bring older brass back to life, which I've done, and also you'll uh, extend the life of the brass you, you use all the time. Okay, and it'll work for for, for all, all your set of fire rifle brass. So anyway, let's fire up. We'll see if we can get this little temperamental gas torch going. There it is. There it is. I know I'm not wearing glasses, don't ring up. In there, we're just turning slowly, just add about six seconds will work. Yeah, hot bit of the flame there. Okay, six, there we go. Straight to a bucket of water. Easy. Some people go on about the bucket of water, they rub it on a cloth. I just throw it in the bucket of water, works just as good. Same again. One, two, three, four, five, six, done. Just starts to discolour. That's that's pretty right. When the neck just starts to get that little black, you can buy some of this paste. I can't remember what it's called, and it it goes off colour when the thing's done. And it heats up enough, and that's enough for that one, and so on and so forth. I think you get the idea. Now, what we'll do, turn him off. What we'll do when that's all done, these ones I go into the water. I'll wash them through the sonic cleaner. Then I'll full length resize them again. Shampoo the necks. Um, I'll shampoo the necks. I'll give them a little bit of a polish with the um, uh, with the Scotch Brite. Then I'm, I'll run them through the Sonic Cleaner full of um, full of the Shellite, and it will bring them up like brand new. Okay, and, uh, and that that just that's just a process that takes time, but we we don't need to see Sonic Cleaners working. We all know how they work. So I hope this has been informative. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Anything you'd, anything you'd like to see or want to have a discussion, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, and I look forward to bringing you the next video. So until next time, remember, go two clicks up. See ya.